if Syndra gets okay. locked in, it's surprising because she took a very big hit yeah, for her laning okay. damage. And it is with the scat of the week. Yeah, so Syndra here changes in 4.1. Grump, can he steal it? That's the question. Gonna go forward, all attack, oh, not gonna be secured. It. Ever, actually. But it will allow me to get the true damage for a few seconds. And, oh, this charge is dropping very low here. But at the same time, get the 20% damage reduction onto his target. Kickers onto the mid lane. Want to try and shut down Nyx. Oh, let's see. There's the slide. There's the glide. Nyx gets caught and he gets sent back. It's not over yet. Pinoy gets stunned up. Vardax in return. Stunned by Edward. They trade damage back and forth. And Hillisang is the one that comes away worse for wear. First blood secured by the Unicorns of Love. In that middle lane, a very, very good dive. Oh, oh Pinoy's point. Once again, Vardex goes in. Vardex is going to get caught out. We do see Hillisan continues to push. Ignite's ticking. The minion auto attack is not enough. And Pinoy manages to walk away. That was so, so close. Yeah, too. But for Eddie, he needs to die. Well, we'll see. Solar flares available. He's going to get connected with the CC power of evil. Moving in from the sideline. Zenith Blade lands. The stun connects. Pinoy's in trouble. Boomerang Blade comes out, but the Tibbers nice. is going to delay the proceedings. We do see a teleport coming out for Cabashot as he's replied. It's been support for AD carry. Second victim of the fight's going to be Cabashot as Eddie will be dove. That is a very, Nick very on his way. two for three. Let's see if uh, uh, Nick can clean up house. He roof walks over. He flashes past the stun. Ignite's ticking. That should be Vardag's in trouble. Vardag does get taken out. Gambit end up trading a three for three. No, I don't actually mind this trade for Gambit. Getting a global gold instead, so you scale up your champions faster instead of this very first dragon. Despite the fact that Diamond was in the top lane, he didn't really put pressure on the chat. Oh, oh that's a flash stun. Vardag is in trouble. Timbers has come down. Spell shields up. The Collateral damage. Pinoy goes Pinoy and drops Vardag's where he stands. They had a ward on Hillisang and he was re... In terms of your Moby Beast and Spice. Oh, Eddie. Eddie's been There's caught no down. Flash. He's been knocked in the air. He's been stunned by Power of Evil. One more kill going over to PoE. Straight That's for the top four end. zero one. Cabo shot teleporting to safety. Smart. That's a massive, massive win. Another kill for Power of Evil and the uh, cooldown in terms of champion picks, but you know, executing this strategy. A lot strategy of people well. mid lane here. Nice stun. That's a stun onto Nick. It's followed up by the solar flare. The Zenith blade was too Whoa. early. It was predictive, but it wasn't needed. Power of Evil with the DFG. A stun on a cast that should never really be possible. In, oh, oh Diamond's knocked out, Pillisang sniffing, the Cataclysm goes down and Diamond is now dropped. They've turned their attention to Eddie and the Boomerang Blade is shredding his HP bars. Engaged on and of course they end up dying oh, for it, straight Pinoy's down to this bottom Pinoy's in trouble, Pinoy's in trouble, the ah. Zenith Blade doesn't connect, but the stun from Scatter the Weak does. <laughs> Pinoy gets flung in the air and shut down by Vardag. So Hillisang tried to predict the dash from Pinoy and he just stopped in the bush instead. So a little, some mind games going on here, let's see Nick. Okay, stop the recalls at least. <laughs> stop the recalls. That's a little bit of an awkward moment. Gonna put some damage down, but keep in mind, numbers advantage for Cambo if they actually want to try this. Sneaking around here. Eddie needs to land a perfect tip if they want to fight. Well, Kikis has gone in. He's used that chilling smite on Diamond. That's a big stun! Chachi throws Nick against the wall. The first victim is Eddie. Eddie didn't even have Tibbers for the fight. Dragon is regening <laughs> in the background. Four versus five. Unicorns of Love off a little low on HP. Now Nick's Nick is too. knocked up. Cataclysm down yeah, on what's Diamond. Happening, man? Syndra's got two. Cabochard will be the next target as Hillisang shuts him down. Cabochard will get killed. Another dragon going the way of Unicorns of Love. Gambit, they like their dragons, but they shouldn't have forced that one. No, not at all. You know... Diamond's coming through the jungle. Unicorns of Love, they Whoa. throw down the solar flare, but they get the inhibitor. Uncontested. Gambit, let's see if they commit to the fight. This is going to be a very risky call. Diamond gets jumped on by Kickers. Instantly, Dragon's rages. Cataclysm goes down. First victim is going to be Diamond Frost. It's not over yet. Eddie's in the background. Tibbers is there and uh, available. Decides not to use it just yet. We do see Unicorns of Love. They've got the numbers advantage. They can take lead. Does not traditionally happen this quickly in the new season because it's just so much more difficult to come by the gold. And look at this. They're on the inhibitor. They've caught Diamond. Diamond's going to get shut down in a moment. He is killed by Chachi. And Unicorns turn to the inhibitor turret. Oh, that's a great nice stun by Cabo Shot in conjunction with collateral damage. It might be too little. Let's see. Find out. Chachi continues to get melted down as we see Pinoy is going to chase. Great, great engage from Cabo Shot. Gambit dig deep and they hold on. That was the engage they needed here. Cabo wanted Baron. You just have two extra ones you can put down.
constantly keep the vision control and the pressure on Gambit side. So I really like the pick up here from Make the vision work. Do you see? Oh, that's the ultimate that's from Hardax. He's going in. Is it Chachi is going to throw the house? The solar flare comes down. Cabochard's locked up. He's going to block some of the burst, but this is messy. Cabochard's the first victim of the fight. Now Diamond Prox is being focused down. He's killed just after Pernoy and Unicorns of Love. They go aggressive. Here it's like lands a Zenith Blade, but it's not going to be enough. There's still minions of the Nexus turrets. Three members down for Gambit. Unicorns, they're on the Nexus turrets. Yeah, try at 26 finish. minutes. They're looking to close. They've caught Edward. He's knocked in the air. The Unicorns of Love are going to be riding high. They've got a Nexus turret down. They're taking out the second. And in 26 minutes, Unicorns of Love have obliterated Gambit. The hype train is with the love train. Completely destroyed Gambit and their late game scaling comp here. Such a greedy comp from Gambit as well. We saw all the foes from Diamond on the top lane. Didn't pay off. Nothing happened. And because there was so much hard engage and there was the Syndra being so having such a slow comp. 9-0-5 from Power of Evil Syndra. But truthfully, it wasn't the Syndra that got them there. It was Syndra that closed. It was Kikis and Jobin. 1-0-13. He was the one that helped set up the first 